It is a rainy day here in Youngsville, Louisiana. I got my bags all here. Figured today would be a good day to give you guys a what's in my bag video. I haven't done one since college. I, think I got some cool stuff in here. Let's check it out. Most of my stuff has not been moved out of my bags at all, except for the clothes. As far as equipment goes and everything else, um, everything is pretty much all here. So let's see what we got. All right, in here we got, this is one of my backup gloves. This here is an Easton from the Professional Collection. This is 11 and 3 quarters. You guys can see it's got the single post. I used the single post my, my last year of college and I really liked it. So last year when I got my Easton, I got a single post. The glove was really good for me and uh, yeah. All right, this right here, guys, this is my gamer from this year. This year was actually Tremaine's glove. Last year, I was with Tremaine playing catch and I think I ended up just asking him for this because I liked it so much and he was cool with it. So this was a 11, it's 11 and a half. Yep, this is a Marucci C mod. This glove treated me well all year. Still holding up pretty good. So um, I don't know if I'll be using it next year at all. It's still in pretty good shape. So talking about next year, this right here was one of my gamers. I was trying to have ready for this year, but I didn't quite get it ready. This here is a Marucci C mod right here. This one's customized. Uh, this one's 11 and three quarters. You guys can see it's got the double post here. I'm just gonna switch it up with the webbing. Currently in the process of breaking this one in, but the Marucci gloves have been more so my favorite. I like the weight. I like the C mod. Leather quality's been pretty good. We'll keep working with this one and see where it gets us. All right, lastly for the gloves, guys, we have a Nakona. This here is probably my favorite glove to play catch with. A baby blue and yellow here. This glove is special to me because it's got my mom's initials on it. My mom passed when I was younger. This is one way I get to remember all the time. Just playing catch. The glove's not quite broken in. Quite like a gamer yet, but the leather quality is really good. Bam. All right, also in all of my bags, I have tons of baseballs. I guess when you do this for a living, you just keep them everywhere. Uh, tons of baseballs in my bag. Also in here, guys, we have a bouncy ball. I keep a bouncy ball in all of my bags. Always have, you know, just always bounce it. So I used to get in trouble in elementary school and middle school bringing my balancing ball. Yeah, that's something that hasn't changed. My Bose headphones, guys. I love my Bose headphones. Super comfortable. They kind of cancel some noise out too. So if you have music on, you can't hear anything, which can be nice on a bus trip. You know, you gotta chill for a little bit. So I don't know exactly which ones these are called, but um, highly recommend. <laughs> I also have bags of hand warmers. Playing some cold places. I remember playing in Peoria a few times and that was really cold. I'm in both of my pockets throughout the course of the game. You gotta stay warm. Next, we have this big bag. First thing I see in here is my football. Um, you guys can see this is my actual football from high school. Me and the guys usually like throwing the football before the games. You know, just mess around, give us something to do. I like throwing the football, period. I've always liked throwing the football. I do the football a lot, so. Probably one of the favorites in the bag right there. We have some, some of our training shorts right here. This is what we would wear every day before the games, getting ready and stuff. Next we have our cleats. These are actually my game ones I wore from the last game. If you watched the last video, you guys saw me wearing these, but they took a beating, but these lasted really well. These are the Adidas Afterburner. I don't remember, I don't know if it's Afterburner 4s, but yeah, I like wearing these this year. Because I like those, I ended up ordering an extra pair off of eBay. Different color, pretty lightweight. Another pair of cleats. Also some other ones, yeah, the ones from this year the white ones wear these a good bit as well and then this was my road pair For the most part you wear white home wear gray on the road also got a gold pair i wear these i think for like two games i think these got real dirty these were neat i liked wearing these bat socks all right and now for the guards i see here we got a shin guard right here this is the brewers edition shin guard this one's for left-handed um but you guys can see this one has both sides in the game pitcher switches you mid at bat you can just switch legs so there's those um, also got a elbow guard i think i only wore this for like three games the whole year. This is the elbow guard. In the past, I've worn a 44 guard. This year, I went with the Evo Shield. If I probably wear an elbow guard, I'll probably wear this one. Didn't even wear it that much, so. And then my most used guard, my running mitt. This is my 44 guards. It is all dirty, but let's put it on like this. It held up very well all year. I'll probably get another one for next year, maybe two. Definitely loved how this slide mitt felt. Definitely protected my hand all year, you know, which is the reason why you wear it. So, shout out to 44 guards. You guys are watching, heck of a job on the slide mitt. Some of my sh my shoes that I use train with, I think these are called Feiyu's, I don't know, but they were cheap and I saw them online. I thought they looked cool and I kind of liked wearing them. So, I got these and then I also got a pair of high tops like this. I wore these just about every day. F E I 
Y-U-E. And then shower shoes. You go to some pretty nasty places on the road. Some showers that are even worse than the locker room. So you always got to keep a pair of slides with you. Definitely don't want to be going in those showers barefoot. So shower shoes is a must. Definitely can't forget those. And then these came in last week of the season. Uh, these are the new Adidas Afterburner 8s, I think. I really wanted to try the high tops. Really hoping they'd come out with the high tops at the beginning of the year, but they had they only had the lows. And the highs came out and they didn't come in time. Looking to check these out probably this off season, see if I like them. These are pretty sweet, actually. I think it's the first time they ever did a high top with Add a Zero. I don't know how the support is gonna be, or I don't know if it makes the cleat a little bit heavier, but we'll give it a try for sure. All right, next in here, I found some of my game sleeves. You guys can see I got the cross on them. About halfway through the year, we made some of these. These came out pretty good. You guys, I'm looking to put some of these on the website. It's a lightweight sleeve. It's not like a, a big compression sleeve. I really don't like too thick on my arm. So it's a little thin arm sleeve. It's just enough to keep my arms from scuffing up on sliding all the time. You know, it's got the cross, which is always nice. So next we got my box of Franklin's. I was with Franklin all year. I have a bunch of gloves. Uh, I have one pack left. I was able to last all the way throughout the year. Something interesting about my gloves, I guess I can show you guys. I cut all the straps off of my gloves. I don't like strapping my gloves. There is no strap here. <laughs> That's always been a habit for me. Funny story, actually, we were on the road. I think we were in South Bend. I had my gloves unfastened like normal. Umpire in the middle of my bat, he told me I had to fasten my gloves. And I was so thrown off by the conversation because it was 2-2, two -two. told me to fasten my gloves. And then I fouled a pitch off and I struck out. I was so upset. Next at bat, I went into my bag and I had cut all the straps off of my batting gloves. That wasn't a problem for the rest of the year, so. Funny story there. Shout out to Franklin's. Good glove all year. This right here is one of the most important things I have. This is my notebook. This has all of my notes from the season. You know, whether that be workouts or plans at the plate or how certain pitchers were pitching me or documenting every pitcher. This notebook has all of that. Shout out to my notebook. Probably the only notebook I've ever kept a track of for an entire season, so shout out to that. But yeah, I love my notebook. I always come back to it to check uh, how I approach a certain guy or if a certain guy had my number a certain night. If you're a hitter and you want to keep track of things or if you're a pitcher you want to keep track of things, an athlete want to keep track of things, or just in general want to keep track of things, recommend getting you a notebook. This is my blanket. You guys can see it has my, na my name on it. It comes with me on the road all the time. Usually the buses are pretty cold, which is nice. We like a cold bus. Always got my blanket for the bus and then always got my blanket for the hotel. We have my bat bag right here. These are my bats. I have a speed stick here. We hit mini wiffle balls with it. Yeah, we'll probably, we'll probably start doing that soon. Actually, some wiffle balls. Good stuff. These are the first few bats I had for this year. These are both Maruchis. This is a 33 and a quarter. And this is a 33 and a half. I have my own model in Maruchi. This is the HC1. You guys may have seen the video, but I went to Baton Rouge. I went through their bat testing. This is the one I liked. Feels pretty good. This is the 33 and a half. This is my 33 and a quarter. I have used this one this year. You guys see I got some pine tar on it, but there's the HC1 and then you guys can see the knob. I have a flared knob on these. Was an, I used to be an axe handle guy. Started liking more of the Pro XR a little bit, but Marucci doesn't have either. So when they don't have either, I usually like the flared knob. I think the flared knob feels good too. It just depends on preference, you know, what I'm feeling that day. So could be either bat. I hit my first home run uh, in Pro Ball with this bat. Definitely some good vibes in it. It lasted a whole year without breaking. After that, we got the next shipment. These are from Dovetail. These are the Pro XR ones. You guys can see the HC1 right here, Pro XR. These are 33 and a quarter, 31 and a half. I don't think I need any more length on this bat. I wanted these a little bit more inloaded, so the cap is full. This is the one I use for the most part. Shout out to Dovetail Bats. These guys got my bats in really fast. Also Marucci too. Both two good bat companies. But yeah, I like this bat. It's treated me well, so I'll probably still be using the same two next year uh, and whatnot. We have the only bat of its kind. Like I said, guys, I used to like the axe bats. Um, this here, you guys can see, is an axe handle. D271 axe, 3330. I, I didn't use this bat very much at Instructs last year. I think I brought this bat out for, like, two at bats um, and one was a home run pretty cool barrel on this bat is pretty small but what that means though is whenever you do make contact and hit it on the barrel the ball flies i like this bat use it a little bit yeah it's got some barrels in it but this one's also got an open cup unlike the full cups this one swings a little bit more balanced a little bit more light um so for those of you who want a little bit lighter bat towards the 271 range you know gets you a little bit more faster swing weight and next this is one of my bats from this off season that we ordered this is the 
PA20. We use this actually, uh, shout out to LG, um, but we take this, LG likes the handle like this, and I like the feel of it too. So uh, he was the last one to use this bat in the middle of the summer. I think we had hit with it one day. I like this bat, just a different feel for me. This bat model swung a little bit too heavy for me, at least for my taste. That's why I'm not using it anymore. You know, also this one's got a full cup, so it's, it's really unloaded. And this was my last order of the year. These are 33 and a quarters. These are HC1s, Pro XR handle. Um, these are also 33 and a quarter, 31 and a half. Um, I actually cut these towards the end of the year. Um, I wanted to get my bat to swing a little bit lighter towards the end of the season. We got these cupped. Um, I really love these bats. This is probably my favorite bat of the season. If you guys saw the last video, you guys saw me using this bat. You guys may also notice I got the flex tape on my bat early in the year. I did no flex tape. I think like halfway through, I started putting more flex on my bats. I really like the way it feels. It's not... It's not too grippy and it's not too thick. That's what I like about, about tape in general because that's usually pretty thin. Now, I ended up getting in a groove with the flex tape. I did it on this one as well. In the past, I've used lizard skin a little bit. I've used bulking grip. I've used athletic tape. I've also used just straight up pine tar. For me, there's always been a time for each. I keep some bats naked in case I ever want to just go pine tar or if I want to slap a grip on it. We'll see what we do next year. Not sure yet, but we'll see. Last but not least, guys, this is my pup noodle. She doesn't quite fit in my bat bag. You even though she wishes she does. Yeah, we're just hanging out today. So you guys have a good day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of what's in my baseball bag and uh, we'll see you.